welcome to another episode of Trigger Weekend Masterclass. And today I'm going to show you how to use count and sum in just an overview. So you don't want to uh, you don't want to save that information. You just want to show it in an overview. And to do that, I'm only going to change a user flow overview. After that, I'm going to publish the application and we'll show you the result. So let's go to design, to the user flows. And in this case, we have orders and orders consist of order lines. And those order lines uh, are linked to products with a price. And I am going to show you how to only display the number of products linked to the order and the sum of the price of those orders. And we do that by going to the data from a data item and orders. Show every order line. And what we see here is we have the order line here. You can see that I can select price and I can also select uh, product by product number. And when I do that, I get additional questions. So Trigger will ask me, regarding the order lines, um, the price of order line can be shown in several ways in the table. So how would you like that to be shown? And I can select as a sum, as an average, the smallest, the largest, or just the amount. In this case, because it's about prices, I would like to show the sum of the price. And the same goes for product because I would like to know, well, it's not exactly the same because I don't want to know the sum of the number of products, but I would like to know the amount of products. So I'm going to show how many product numbers there are. And as you can see here, we have sum of price and number of product number. They will be displayed at the end of the um, overview, the two last columns, sum of price and number of product numbers. Sorting will remain the same. Click done. And then I'm going to publish this to show you the end result. Okay, so the application has been published and let's see how this looks in the application itself. And what you can see here is two columns have been added, the sum of price, which you can see over here, and the number of products. Well, in this case, there are three. Here it's two, here it's one. So there you go, works like a charm. Keep in mind that you can only use this if you just want to display the number of items or a sum of the, the items or an average. If you want to save it, you will need to uh, store that in one of the flow parts that you should create. Oh wait, there it is. Click the subscribe button.